Soldering is a process used to join metal pieces together using a filler metal, called solder, that has a lower melting point than the pieces being joined. Think of it like using a glue made of metal. Here's a breakdown of the process. Preparation. The surfaces to be joined need to be clean and free of oxides or other contaminants. This is often done with mechanical cleaning, like using sandpaper or a wire brush or chemical cleaning. Flux application. Flux is a chemical cleaning agent applied to the joint area. It serves several purposes. It removes any remaining oxides that might have formed. It prevents further oxidation during the heating process. It helps the solder flow and wet the joint surface, creating a good metallurgical bond. Heating. Heat is applied to the joint area. This can be done with a soldering iron, a torch, or other heating methods, depending on the size and type of joint. The heat raises the temperature of the workpieces. Solder application. Once the workpieces are hot enough, the solder is applied to the joint. The heat from the workpieces melts the solder. The molten solder then flows into the joint, wetting the surfaces due to the action of the flux. Cooling. The heat source is removed, and the joint is allowed to cool. As it cools, the solder solidifies, creating a strong bond between the workpieces. Cleaning, sometimes. Some types of flux can leave residues that need to be cleaned off after the soldering is complete. Key things to remember about soldering. Melting point. The solder's melting point must be lower than the melting point of the metals being joined. Wetting. Good wetting is crucial for a strong joint. This means the molten solder spreads out and adheres well to the surfaces. Flux helps with this. Cleanliness. Clean surfaces are essential for proper wetting and a strong bond. Heat control. Applying the right amount of heat is important. Too little heat and the solder won't flow properly, 